What's going on YouTube? Tony here with Edge Elite Knife Review. Got another one for you guys today. Um, so I had mentioned in the last few reviews that I did uh, how excited I was about a lot of the new models that CRKT was coming out with. And uh, one in particular caught my eye almost immediately. I had to pick it up. Um, it took home the 2018 SHOT Show Best of Show Most Innovative Award. Um, I'm assuming for the field strip technology that's integrated into the design of this blade. Um, on top of it just being an already awesome blade uh, design. Uh, this one was designed by Drew Hara. Du Hara, sorry, not Drew. Du Hara. Um, he has his own custom model. Uh, and, you know, CRKT, they teamed up. And they decided to make a production run of his uh, Rikari. So this is an awesome knife, guys. This thing is... I, I was I was surprised when I got a hold of it. You know, seeing pictures is one thing. But um, actually getting a hold of a knife and, and using it, you get the feel for it in your hand. You know, you, you just handle it. It feels great. I was super stoked. Um... It's, it's, it's just gnarly. Like, <laughs> I was super excited when I got this thing. Like, I was a kid on Christmas morning, I swear. Um, yeah, so let me give you some specs on this guy. So the blade length is 3.75 inches. Um, you got a Warren Cliff style blade, as you can see. Super aggressive Warren Cliff, by the way. Freaking love this thing. Uh, hollow grind, the steel on it is 1.4116 steel. I'm... Honestly, I have never heard of that steel before. Um, so we'll see how it performs in the near future. I saw a lot of comments um, about this steel. Um, and a lot of people seem to be disappointed. So I'm kind of anticipating, you know, uh, edge retention, rust resistance. Uh, you know, we'll see. Only time will tell. I've only had this thing for about six days. And it's been great so far. Um high satin finish you can see it's super super polished yeah um handle length is 5.1 inches uh you got aluminum handle scales really cool designs integrated into it you can see there that's uh, really awesome futuristic looking um tip up right hand carry only pocket clip sorry about that guys anybody that carries it left-handed or tip down yeah, that's the only way you're going to be rocking this guy. And uh, as you can see, the it's a deep carry pocket clip. And it's also very high satin finished as well. So it matches the blade nicely. Um, and yeah, so this thing has the field strip technology integrated into it. So let's check that out. A super simple breakdown. What you do is you unscrew the back here. All right, and then you lift the lever here. Take off this first handle scale. You can see there, one piece. The washer is integrated in there. You got the knife, the uh, the blade. Let's see here. There you go. Blade pops out like that. And then you got your insert liner lock here. And yeah, that's how it breaks down. Super simple, guys. I mean, that, it's really cool. I mean, you know, you're out, you're out in the field, you're out hunting, doing whatever. Your knife drops in the mud, you got all kinds of dirt and rocks in it or whatever. You take it apart in seconds, rinse it out in the river or with your canteen or whatever, and just throw it back together and you're, you're good to go. Um, so basically all you do is you lay it back on here. Lay the blade back on there. You're going to, oh my gosh, I'm Butterfingers today. Wow, really not demonstrating how fast this thing can go back together, but uh, I think you get the general idea. <laughs> so you put it back together. You want to pinch the pivot and then go ahead and uh, start twisting that screw back in there on the back. And then once that's all the way in, you bring the uh, lever down and you're ready to go. Lock back into place. Yeah, this, this is such a bigger knife than I realized it was going to be. I mean, you see, you know, you get specs on it initially, 
But once you actually get a hold of a blade, I'm sure all you knife guys know, like, it's just crazy that it surprises you sometimes how big it actually is. And it's really not that heavy for being such a big knife. Like, uh, carrying it in your pocket, you really don't notice it too much. But you got a good size handle to grab onto. Awesome, awesome Warren Cliff blade. Super aggressive. I feel like tactically, you know, this would be a good knife. You got a straight edge. You got a super point. Um, I just, I hope in the future they do a more tactical version of it. Black, completely black. Um, you know, if you're in a tactical application with this thing and you're trying to conceal your position, if a light passes by you, this is going to blind whoever the heck is pointing that light at you and they're going to know where you are right away. So it would be cool in the future to have a completely blacked out version of the, uh, Rakari. Um, that would be something I would highly look forward to. Of course, I could do it myself, but I'm not a super duper, you know, knife customizer, which, you know, maybe one day I'll really get into that. I would like to. But uh, for now, this is an awesome blade. Uh, let's check out the factory edge. I've had it for about six days, used it for just normal use. Haven't done anything to the edge yet. So it's pretty stinking sharp. Uh, like I said, I've used it, it was sharper. So maybe, you know, a leather strop and a honing will turn this thing into a super razor, like it was when I got it. But um, yeah, this thing is, oh man. I, okay, let me ask you guys a question, all you knife guys out there. How many of us find the paper cut test to be therapeutic? I can sit here all day if I'm having the worst day, I just pull my knife out and just go to town on some printer paper. <laughs> I, it's just so therapeutic to me. I, I don't know. Um, of course, you know, do it in the, in the confinements of your home. I don't want to freak people out in public just sitting there slicing paper up like a, like a psycho. <laughs> but, um, yeah, super, super sharp edge on this guy. Um, I will say though, the field strip technology, um, it feels on the back pivot, the screw right here. When you do initially, uh, initially open it, um, it does move around a little bit. And you know, this thing is, you know, I've tightened it as tight as it can go. Um, I've tried to loosen a little bit, tighten it. Um, and it's not to where it's like, oh, it's going to fall apart. It's just a little, you feel a little bit of movement up here on the pivot though it's solid there's no blade play whatsoever this thing is locked in there um yeah so i mean i dig this knife guys this is an awesome everyday carry knife it's big enough for a good self-defense offensive blade as well and it gets the job done anything you need to do let me know in the comments down below guys if any of you have picked this up yet, I've seen on Instagram, not too many people have posted this thing. I want to say, including me, maybe two other people, three other people have posted, um, you know, their Rikari. Um, So I don't know if that means, you know, people haven't pulled the trigger yet, but I'm here to tell you guys, if you're on the fence about it, do it. This is an awesome knife. It's really not that expensive. The price point, it's about 65 bucks. I don't know if that was just the initial run price, if it might go up a little more, but I would say pick one up as soon as you can, guys. This is an awesome blade. You will not regret this decision. Um, let me know, guys, what you think about this knife down below in the comments. Uh, let me know how you like the review. Share this with your friends. Give this video a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button I'm going to put down here somewhere, and uh, I'll throw another video up on top, as always, for you guys to check out if you're new to the channel. Uh, subscribe, 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 guys. Have an awesome day. See you next time.